how to French kiss properly. Unless you know what you're doing, kissing with tongue can be pretty awkward and somewhat gross. It's not like in the movies where you just magically know what to do. There are so many things to think of. What to do with your tongue, where to place your hands, how to keep your noses and teeth from getting in the way, etc. If you're worried that an intense makeout session with a special someone is going to be embarrassing rather than sweet and romantic, keep listening. We have some great tips on how to French kiss properly to make your partner want to come back for more. 1. Position your face right in front of your partners. You may use your hands to gently angle their face up or down to adjust for any differences in height. Next, slightly angle your face to the right or left to avoid bumping noses with each other. 2. Start kissing with soft pecks on the mouth and gradually let your lips open wider and wider to include more of your partner's lips with each kiss. Lightly nibble on your partner's lower lip, just barely grazing the skin with your teeth. 3. Be sensitive to your partner's reactions. If they start leaning into you or send other signals indicating they want to continue kissing, amp it up and get your tongues involved. 4. Tease your partner's lips with the tip of your tongue, drawing it back quickly and never letting it linger too long. As your partner opens their mouth in response, dart your tongue in to explore for no longer than a second before pulling out. Be mindful of any saliva buildup. When you pull back between kisses, swallow discreetly. 5. Start touching your partner's tongue with yours by alternating swirling and darting movements. Again, always be conscious of your spit. Whenever you feel your saliva pooling underneath your tongue, pull back for a second and get it under control. Use this moment to deliver some soft pecks on the lips and around the mouth to avoid awkward pauses. 6. Mix up the tongue action with some gentle kisses and playful lip nibbling. As you kiss, allow your hands to roam down your partner's neck to the shoulders and the arms until you reach their waist. From there, you can caress their back or run your palms along the sides of their body. 7. End on a high note. Don't drag the kiss on for too long. You can end it by nuzzling your face into your partner's for a touch of sweetness. Although it helps to have good technique, the key to being a good kisser is being responsive to your partner's cues. Tensing, drawing back, or hesitation could be signs that you're coming on too strong. If this is the case, you need to slow down a little and relax into the moment. After all, knowing how to French kiss properly and respond to your partners is one of the most important skills to have in your romantic arsenal.